everybody, it's Brent Center, Arkansas. I brought a couple garden uh, tomatoes in from the Noe Garden. And I want to show you, this looks like Septoria leaf spot. And it's a fungal disease. And this plant looks okay in the new growth. Um, I've already sprayed it once, but this plant here is almost dead. It's got a little bit on the tip here. Um, and a little bit right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up and then I'm going to spray it with my fungicide. This is um, a f mixture of my do-it-all spray and I'm going to spray these and we're going to monitor them for a week or so and see if we can um, eliminate that uh, septoria leaf spot or whatever fungus it is. I'm pretty sure it's septoria. Also, I believe that my tomatoes are getting infected from the seed itself because I save my own seed so I don't buy store-bought treated seed so what I'm going to do here uh, to help prevent that for next year is a hot water treatment and I'm going to show you how I do that the reason why I'm treating my seeds is because I save my own seed and a lot of times companies that send out our seed companies they pre-treat their seed before they get it to you of course you can get it untreated but in my case, I think some of the uh, viruses and bacteria uh, infest the seed. And I noticed that my tomato plants weren't healthy this year, as healthy as they have been, and they also weren't that great last year. So I really think some of my seed is infested. So I did some research and I came up with two treatments, uh, hot water treatment and a bleach treatment. And I'm going to do three versions of it. I'm going to do a hot water only. I'm going to do a hot water and bleach and a bleach only. So hot water bleach and hot water and bleach. The bleach is the simplest version. And uh, we're going to do that one first. I've got three cups. And those three cups are going to be the germination test. Um, I'm going to put seed in it uh, that I've treated. And that seed is here. In each one of these, I've got 10 tomato, 10 red Russian kale, which is this one, and I've got 10 broccoli. In the bleach one also, I'm gonna add some squash. I'll do that before I soak it. Um, so that's the way it's going to be, the way it is on this um, little, this is actually a I guess you'd call it a little uh, soil packet that I bought to pollinate squash with to isolate the flowers and it's it's porous so it's perfect for doing this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the seed and wrap it up and tie, tw use a twist tie to seal it off while I soak these and whatnot. So I'm going to get the squash I'm going to add to the bleach and, then, and I'll probably go ahead and do it to hot water only and hot water and bleach both because um, it, in my directions and the things I've researched says that the only cucurbit that does well in these treatments is cucumber and the rest just don't work but I've got extra seed so we'll just give it a shot anyway so I've got my instructions here and if you look here the two treatments are bleach hot water and then there's going to be a combination of the two in the bleach one it's a uh, disinfectant back here in the yellow lid sprouting jar. I put one part bleach to five parts water. I added two drops of Dawn or any dishwashing liquid. I'm going to put the seeds in there and agitate or stir for one minute and then I'm going to stick it in the clean jar, the green one here, which is regular water. And then I'm going to take it over to the sink and I'm going to rinse it uh, for five minutes. And then I'm going to plant them in the bleach. Um, little cup there for sprouting purposes here it says what I'm doing is put the bleach is supposed to work for all kinds of seeds every kind of seed actually and it's supposed to kill bacteria and virus so we're doing cabbage tomato instead of broccoli I went I mean instead of cabbage I went with kale broccoli and then I'm gonna do squash now the hot water soak is a little bit different the hot water soak I'm gonna do last after the bleach and I'm, it says to uh, heat 
water up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and put all the seeds in there for 10 minutes. And then after in there for 10 minutes, you transfer it to 122 degrees Fahrenheit water for 25 minutes. And that's for tomato, uh, kale, and broccoli um, as well. It doesn't work on cucurbits um, other than cucumber. Supposedly only cucumber will work from the cucurbit family. So we're going to give this a go. And then after it's done with this, you transfer it to cold water and you rinse it for five minutes again. And then you plant. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the hot water and the bleach solution. So let's get started. fold these up okay there we go we put the hot water and the combination hot water and bleach ones over there because they both have to go to the hot water process first and all we got now is the bleach here. It says to agitate for one minute. So I'm going to drop it in there. I'm going to set the timer on the stove. One minute. And I'm going to agitate this. Let me just use my fingers. Agitate this in the bleach. put it in this one and I'm going to take it over to the sink and rinse it. This is what they look like post soak and obviously the brassicas, the kale and the broccoli mixed. So I'm going to put the tomato seed on one side and I'm going to put all the brassicas on the other. The tomato there's 10 and the brassicas there's 20. I'll count them and make sure. I'm going to put them in this container here that is labeled. We'll get on to the hot water treatment. I'd forgotten to put the squash in there. And the reason why I'm putting squash is because squash is a big passion of mine. I want to see if it works with squash over, say, cucumber or zucchini. Um, even though zucchini is a squash. Anyway, what I'm saying is I'm going to try the bleach. I've already done the others and put them in the cup here. And obviously the brassicas are going to be mixed. So we're just going to look for about 20 of them. I'm going to put these three in the bleach solution and then rinse them. And I'll put them in this cup too. And then as you can see here, I've opened these back up and I added the squash to this one already, which I've closed. And then I'm going to close this one as well. And then we're going to do all those in the hot water and uh, one of those two in the hot water and bleach. So... All right, everybody, I've got two pots going. This one is my wife's new wave. And I'm bringing that up to 122 or as close as I can get it. I'm trying to get it 122. I'm on the back one back over there is a smaller one and I'm trying to get it up to 100. So while those are coming up to temperature, I'm gonna show you that I cover the seed of the bleach one and like you've seen a hundred million times on YouTube and other places I wet it down and I put a little Ziploc bag over there to keep the moisture in and this will be set aside and wait for germination. I've got this one that fluctuates between 122 and 122.5 as long as it does that, I'm okay with that. And then this one is right at 100. I'll bring it back in just a second. It takes, well, let me see how fast it can get back down. Pretty quick. So 
So as you can see, it's right at 100. And I've got, because these were floating, I've got forks on these. So I'm going to use the forks to keep them submerged. Because of the floating. And I'll put a timer on. Camera's on a tripod for 10 minutes. All right, when it's time to move it over, I'll bring you back. So the new way pot says 140 here. I wanted to point this out, uh, but I'm using the thermometer. I've got it pulled out of the center to adjust the heat because this only goes up in increments of 10 degrees. So I pulled it off the center and it's staying pretty dang close at 122. And that's what I want for the long 25 minute soak after the 10 minute 100 degree soak. We're sitting at 121.6 now. And I can take a little bit of water if it gets just a little bit and pour just a dab in here. And that'll bring the temperature down a uh, point or two. Alright, that means the 10 minute soak is done and it's time to put these in the hot water soak for 25 minutes. So there they are. I'm going to change the timer. Five minutes and it's right now sitting at 121.9 and I will monitor this closely for the next uh, 24 minutes and 42 seconds which is where we're at now and I'll bring you back all right you can see it's 121.78 kind of fluctuates up and down over here I've got a glass of ice water and we're going to stop the heating process in six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to stick these in the ice water. And all we're doing is stopping the heating process. In other words, we don't want to continue to slowly cook the seed, I guess. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one that's hot water only and put that in the cup. And then we're going to do a bleach treatment on the other one that's hot water and bleach. And I'll put those in the cup and I'll bring you along. The fork makes it a lot easier to agitate. This has had the hot water treatment and it's time to rinse. It's been agitated for one minute. Yeah, I've got them in here in a spare bedroom. Hot water only. Bleach. Hot water and bleach. You got the little Ziplocs over it. And uh, yep, it's in my microgreens harvest bucket for now. And I've got a little light over here that I'll turn on them. Whoa, uh, just to help once they germinate, hopefully they'll germinate. So I'll bring you back when that happens, or if it doesn't happen, I'll bring you back too. It's been almost four days. You can see that the brassicas, the kale and the broccoli, are coming up, as well as, it looks like the squash and two of them are coming up, but for now, we will remove the plants in each one of these and we'll do a count and see what we got. All right, I have done the count and I will put it over each of the little micros here. Microgreens is actually what they are. And um, so you can count yourself, but I've got six, 18, 
16 and 16 in that little bitty one is one as well and I don't know if two more four more and four more are going to come up they may or they may not we'll see but still regardless that's very good germination rate um, and I don't think there's statistically any difference between it it seems like the hot water it had a couple more than the other two but you know, I, I'm not sure that that's really relevant. So, so far, so good. We'll keep going. I've got two squash that are coming up in this one. This is hot water and bleach. I've got two squash coming up in bleach only, and I only see one in the hot water treatment so far. All right, we're back. Same order. Now we're going to take the squash. Also had one more brassica show up in the middle there under bleach only. And I'll lay them out for you. I don't see any tomato yet. But in hot water only we had two of three germinate. Bleach we have two of three. And oddly, the combination we have three of three. And one brass kind of bleach only to bring that total up. I'll put the total at the end of the video. So now we're going to put these back on and we're going to hopefully get some germination on tomatoes soon. All right, it's been 10 days since the seed were planted. Squash and brassica is done, but no tomatoes are coming up. So I have to assume the seed was dead or both treatments killed the seed. I don't think uh, it's possible really, I mean it could be that the treatments killed the seed, it could have been bad seed. So we're going to try the tomatoes again. Alright, this time I'm doing them in the screen. This is the screen I used for my uh, sprouting jars originally, before I got caps. But anyway, I've got five beefsteak, five cherry, and five slicer sized tomatoes. Three different varieties. And I'm going to put these in the various mixes. The hot water bath, the bleach uh, treatment, and the hot water bath and bleach treatment. And we'll give it a go again. Alright, we're at 99.8. And I'm going to put them in. I like the way I used the fork last time. There's the seed and the screen. The fork keeps it weighed down. Put two of the three in there. I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. There we go. Is it blurry? Anyway, I'll monitor. I've got a little thing of ice water. And we'll put a little bit in here at a time and use a knife and kind of swish it if it gets too hot. So we'll keep it at 100 for 10 minutes. Alright, we've got the two soaking in 122. We're going to do it for 25 minutes. Timer's already running. We've got a bleach 5 to 1 solution. One part bleach, five parts water. I've got the bleach treatment fork and seed. And... I'm going to put it in here and use my handy dandy smartphone to time it. It says to put it in there and agitate for one minute. It looks like it's getting agitated. Just gets to one minute we're going to take it and rinse the bleach solution off it says for five minutes I'm just going to put it in a glass with a slow trickle out of the sink I'll show you I'm going to turn this off until I get there there you go it's off the fork now and you can see the water is keeping it churned if you will turn it down just a little bit so we don't waste water 
and I'll let that go for five minutes. Constant dilution, constant swirling, that should do the trick. As this goes on, you can see it's dipping a little bit below 122, so I have microwaved, instead of using ice, same container, I've microwaved some hot water. And I'll pour a little bit in there like that. I'll take a knife and kind of swish it a little bit. We'll try to bring that temperature back up close to 200. And it's been a little while since I microwaved it, but I want to bring that temperature and keep it as close to 122. I said 200, I meant 122. There we go. I imagine if it's a half degree here or there it won't hurt so yeah with a little container of either ice water or extra hot water you can keep this thing moderated whether you're whether you're um, you're trying to get cooler in the case of this in this one I just had hot water or previously when it was at a uh, hundred degree soak I had to cool it down constantly not constantly but once in a while. So there you go. I'll bring it back when we're done. We got that much time left. I've spread the seed around a little better. Uh, it's not so lumped together. This is the bleach. Five to one. So I'm going to cover it. And we're going to put the Ziploc bag back on and wait for it to germinate. Still doing good. All right, we're almost done here, and I'm going to take this whole jar and bring it over to the sink and just run cold water in it, and uh, that'll stop the heating process of the middle of the seed, um, and which that's the directions, that's what it says to do. And we're going to cool it down for five minutes, and then one of the two is going to get an additional bleach treatment just like the first one. We've got really cool water going in there, yeah, and it's already cool. I'll turn it down in a few minutes or a few seconds and just let it drizzle in there until so I know the seed is completely and thoroughly cool. It probably says five minutes in the directions, and five minutes is more than enough. So I'll just go ahead and follow the directions and do it for five minutes. I took the forks out so they could kind of the flow. We'll kind of move it around or not. And there's the other two hot water and bleach and hot water only. Cover, spritz, and put a Ziploc on them as well. Okay, there they are waiting to sprout. We have success. We are at Kamlara State Park near Bloomington, Illinois, and uh, I took my plants, my research, my trial on the road. So what I have to do now is I'm going to cut these off like I did the others, and we're going to have a count and see how they all do. I can already tell you it's a success um, because no matter what the percentage is, it's, it's worth doing, I think in my case so we're gonna do that part anyway and uh, here we go there we go for hot water only we had 12 of 15 germinate including a couple small ones up there one small one looks like in the center bleach only 5 to 1 we had 15 of 15 including a couple three little ones up here and those seem to be pretty um, normal, uh, the amount of uh, vigor uh, in the growth. So it seemed to be pretty normal. It seems like there was a little bit slower growth when you did both. But we also had 14 of 15 germinate. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can, <coughs> since this is bleach and hot water, and this is hot water, you can't really go by this number 12 
it appears to me that that was a seed issue and not a treatment issue um, because obviously hot water and bleach was done with this and we got 14 so overall like I originally assessed I think this is a good method now um, we have to wait for spring and uh, find out how they actually grow see if we prevented some disease this is Brent you guys hot water and bleach treatment to prevent disease